Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. In today's video we're covering some news. Some of you may have heard of this already, but Soldier Boy, a rapper, probably most well known for his song Crank That, that I think was like a 2007-2008 hit. Either way, he's still around and I'm sure he's made quite a lot of money from his rapping career, but now he's been sort of started getting interested in the gaming industry. Not just gaming and games themselves, but also esports. It kind of started a little bit with Soldier Boy randomly starting to put out his own game consoles on his own store you know you got a few different ones here but i think you can kind of see what's going on here a few of these look pretty similar to old consoles this latest one is quite literally just a psp but anyway soldier boy clearly has an interest in gaming however most recently in an interview he said the following regarding overwatch esports actually just have a listen we're looking for the up and coming right 16 17 year old hungry with a goal, with a passion, with a dream. That's who I'm looking to join my esports franchise. So and I, I heard you guys, you were uh, talking about participating in games like Fortnite, Overwatch, League Overwatch. of Legends. What, yeah, what specifically would you want to get into? Man, Overwatch, um, definitely. Now, I don't know how much he knows about Overwatch League or how serious this sort of endeavor is, especially with him mentioning other games than just Overwatch. But we have seen, you know, celebrities that aren't necessarily previously connected with esports actually invest in esports quite a lot the past sort of three, four, five years. So who knows, maybe this could turn into something down the line. I guess hit Soldier Boy up on Twitter if you're feeling like you want to be in his esports team. Maybe one day we'll get the Chicago Soldiers or something like that. Moving on though, talking about Overwatch esports, we also have some contenders news. Now, if you don't remember, or if you just didn't watch that video, I talked about Overwatch contenders not too long ago about how some of the teams were looking for basically local talent from the city that they are based around. So the New York XL have an academy team called the XL2, they were looking for New York players and were getting rid of some of their other actually really talented players to do that. There's not been too much of an update on that situation in particular, but Overwatch contenders did come out and say that in 2019 they have a few different players plans and some that people have been looking forward to and wanting for a long long time. This being sort of cross region lands where all the different regions actually get to play against each other in certain different showdowns as they call it. There's three of them. The Pacific Showdown which will take place in late May 2019 featuring top teams from Australia, China, Korea and the Pacific. There's the Atlantic Showdown featuring top teams from Europe, North America and South America. And then finally the Gauntlet which will be teams invited based on the Atlantic and Pacific Showdown results. Pretty exciting stuff actually, this might be a good chance for contenders players to really show what they've got, especially compared to all of the other teams and players cross regions to potentially be picked up for Overwatch League, meaning that the path to pro gets connected just a little bit better and feels just that little bit more complete. So definitely big props to Overwatch contenders for actually putting this sort of thing together, expanding and improving in those areas that people have been asking for improvement for quite a while. So if you're an Overwatch esports fan, definitely good news there. That's all for the Overwatch esports part though. I thought I'd just bring people up to speed with what's going on in the game and what we might be seeing soon. So of course there's been talks about that new map that we were promised at some point. Blizzard didn't show anything at BlizzCon but they have specifically said that obviously they are working on stuff. So who knows that could be coming sooner rather than later. Blizzard are pretty good at keeping stuff secret nowadays it seems. At least around Overwatch announcements. But most likely even closer in time we have the Chinese New Year event. Now that should be happening very soon actually. We've got Year of the Pig that was announced today with this nice little Soldier 76 highlight intro. So that'll be going live on January 24th and be live until February 18th. We obviously knew this one was coming and with the actual Chinese New Year happening on February 5th, it was kind of a sooner rather than later sort of thing. So yeah, that's coming up. Once again, Blizzard have expressed previously that they aren't really looking to actually change the events too much, but rather improve on their previous format and work on other things instead. So I guess we can expect a new Capture the Flag season with the top 500 and all that stuff. New skins and everything else that you would expect with a normal event. All right, that's pretty much everything for this video though. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers for all the support lately, but yeah, that's all for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.